Hey guys, Stalvin back with another game of Popper. Uh, today we're playing Slivers, so it's gonna be fun. This opening hand's quite bad though, we're gonna have to mulligan that. Uh, this hand is keepable. We will keep this one, especially with the scry. Um, I've been seeing a... <laughs> uh, yes, keep. And we'll put this to the bottom. We only really need one with Vigilance. Uh, let's start off, actually, with... I suppose, our Poison Sliver. Um, there is an argument for using Blossoming Sands and then slamming out the two drops, but I want to get in with that early poison if I can. I want to play a 1-1. One, one. Blister Pod. Ooh, we get, a, we get our Forest here. Sweet. We'll go ahead with Muscle Sliver, attack in with the Poison Sliver. Or Poisonous, rather. Um, so... Slivers has been a thing for quite a long time, but I think the printing of Lead the Stampede really set it over the edge of being competitive. So I'm really excited to see that Slivers is actually um, making a stand right now. Yeah, I've always enjoyed Slivers. I've had it in paper for uh, a couple of years now. Opponent plays another forest. Goes with a Rancor, okay. I'm looking for Sidewinder Sliver, that'd be a nice one. So that this Blister Pod just dies instantly whenever he blocks. Opponent plays another Blister Pod. Does he attack? No attacks, okay. Plated Sliver, well I guess we'll play the Blossoming Sands. And can't really effectively attack. So I think our opponent has achieved his goal of holding or uh, fronting the assault here. I could attack, but I don't think it's worth it. No, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Next turn, I can use my plated sliver but then he'll still be able to block it with his 3-1. We're really looking for flank, uh, the Sidewinder Sliver. Because that flanking is going to be really key here, I think. Muscle Sliver is a good one. Maybe if I go Muscle and Plated, I'll have 4 Toughness. There'll be 3-4s. Uh, but then he can just block with multiples. Hmm... Maybe lead the stampede is best route here. Hmm. Let's see if I make them three fours and attack him with the Lord and the poisonous sliver. He can double block the Lord with a blister pot. Yeah, it's not worth attacking into that at this moment. I have the uh, opportunity to get so much bigger, so I'm just gonna use lead the stampede. See what we can come up with. Hopefully a bunch of lords. Alright, well we did get some lords. So I suppose we'll go ahead and pass the turn here. I wish one of these was a gym height sliver and then I could start casting some of this stuff. But uh, we do have some lords and I think that's going to really help us. We need to draw uh, a land. Ooh, he's getting in with the 3-1. Okay, we'll let that go through. Sure. He's probably got some after-combat trickery here for us. Alright. Whenever it dies, it gets a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Talon Sliver is a good draw. That'll give us our first strike that we need. So if I play that, and then um, I'll have two two first strikes. So... Hmm. Still not quite enough to attack yet, but let's go like this. This will hold off his block or his attacking, I think, because then I can just block with the first strike and be okay. We're almost to the point where we can attack, but not quite yet. 
as soon as I get a, a, a land, then I can play two lords, and then we'll be in real business. If my creatures didn't buff each other, I probably would be attacking. But since the lord package is so powerful, then I'm leaving it be. Now he is attacking with the 3-1, even though I have first strike. That's interesting. I think I am going to block and force him to have some kind of shenanigan. But I think I'm going to block with the poisonous sliver. Because the first strike in the lord is just too too important to lose here. So let's block with the first strike. Our opponent may have some shenanigans. Nope. No combat shenanigans, it seems. He gets his Rancor back, and he gets a little 1-1. One -one. Yep, yep. The first strike sliver is really nice. Let's see, he's bringing something else down here. Probably the Rancor. Alright, Rancor on the wolf. And what is this? He's so got a Doom Blade coming. Tragic slip. Uh, yep, that's unfortunate. First Strike Sliver is really key there. Well, there's another Lord. Oh, look at that! Shout out to Popper Ganda for subscribing to our channel. Very cool. How how funny that we're playing Slivers right now and <laughs> and he's subscribing. A Sliver is, is one of his favorite decks, I believe. Shout out to Poverganda. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go with a Lord and Plated Sliver here. I want to try and build up my digits a bit. Hopefully next turn I'll be able to draw a another land and play two more Lords. Um, do I want to attack here? He'd block with the Wolf and, one, and probably the Brindle Shoot here. So he would definitely come out on top if I attacked. For sure. I think I still have to pass, unfortunately. Still have to pass, but the onslaught of attacks is coming soon, I promise. <laughs> um, if I can just get one more land. I really wish I had Jim Hyde Sliver out. Because that would, that would be making this uh, pretty strong here. Opponent gets in with the wolf. I think I'm gonna let that go, cause I can I can um, attack back. So that's fine. I'm sure it uh, sucked for him to have to use tragic slip on my on my talent sliver instead of one of my lords, though. All right, we're looking for an untapped land here. Come on. Or the first strike. I have two Talon Slivers in my deck, I believe, so maybe I could draw that second one. I considered playing all four, but I figured that might be a little uh, ambitious, because if I have two, then uh, I don't know, one of them's kind of a dead card. But I don't know, First Strike is just so good. But once you have three or four Lords out, First Strike probably is going to be irrelevant at that point. But I mean, it, double blocking an Olmox Crusher, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Opponent is deciding what he's going to do after combat here. I'm sure he has plenty of tricks in the bag for me. What do we have? Is this a Doom Blade? Mm hmm. Alright, opponent passes a turn. He may have a Doom Blade and is just waiting to use it. Well, we definitely have the Lords. That is for sure. I kind of wish we drew a land there, though. Um, I guess I'll play the Sinew Sliver. Or should I play the Sentinel Sliver? I don't. I don't think so. I guess I could. I might have to start doing some attacking and blocking here. One, two, three, four. So. If I played a Lord, I'd have five toughness, and he couldn't block me even if he had blocked with everything, so I think I'm going to do that. Let's play the Sinew Sliver, and we'll fake a uh, something, some green trickery with our forest there. 
Alright, let's make a bunch of five fours here. Or, f yeah, four fives. Go to combat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He does have... He does have to worry about double poison here. He can hit back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... He probably has a Doomblade, though, right? I think we have to go for it here. Even with Doomblade, I still, I need, or with any kill spell, I think I still need to start putting Sawn some pressure. So, I have double poison, but he may just block everything here. So he's taking 8 damage and 4 poison. Oh, no, he's still blocking. Alright, well, 4 damage and 2 poison. None of my creatures die. That's a plus. He loses all of his creatures, but a few of them come back, unfortunately. Oh, he's got triggery. Doomblade. Ah, tragic slip. Same difference. Okay. Does the tragic slip. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and yield in until the turn here. A lot of triggers happening, and I can't really uh, do anything with any of them. Getting stuff back, poison triggers, all kinds of good stuff. And I haven't played Slivers in a very long time, like more than a year. And when I did there, it was definitely in paper, so... I'm sure I'm making ton of mistakes. Man, I really need to land. Lack of lands this game has been a huge problem. Uh, put minus minus one on creature you control. Draw two cards, okay. If I I could if I I really need lands. <laughs> Lands or the Talon Sliver. One of those two is what I'm looking for. And I have plenty of lands in this deck, too. I never thought I would be... Um, I wouldn't say upset. Upset is probably too strong of a word, but for drawing lords more than land. This is one of the reasons why I love Jim Hyde Sliver, and... I feel like Jim Hyde Sliver doesn't get the appreciation that it deserves, because Jim Hyde Sliver plays a huge role whenever, uh, whenever you just don't have the land. It gives, it provides you that mana when you don't have the land, and I think that's a, a good advantage to have. Looks like opponent's thinking about getting in for six here. If he gets in for six, I can swing back and do six poison. Put him to nine poison. It's kind of scary. It's kind of risky to attack here, but more power to him if he does. Now he gets in with the beast only. Takes me to twelve. All right. Passes a turn. Land, land, land. Oh, well. <laughs> it comes in tapped. That sucks, but... Eh. Alright, well, I think... Let's see. Definitely going to play a Lord. And for the sake of Echoing Decay existing, I'm going to not play Muscle Sliver. I think I'm going to play Sinew Sliver here. Uh, let's see, he doesn't have, he does not have Tragic Slip open. Do I want to attack? I think I want to attack, but not, I don't know if I want to attack with everything. If I do, he's forced to block. Maybe I attack, if I do attack, he can block with the Wolf and the Scion. 
in in the other wolf. So he could he'd have to triple block one creature to kill one, and he'd end up taking 16 damage. So he would die. So he can't triple block here. Yeah, he, he can't triple block or he'd die. So I think I do want to just slam on in. I think it would it would do some devastation to his board state too. And next turn I can just play two more lords. Yeah, I think this is a good call. Next turn's going to be a pretty big turn too. Maybe I maybe I'll play the Sentinel Sliver instead. I'll have to think about it. The double poison is pretty scary too for my opponent, I would I would think. It really makes blocking uh not unoptimal, you know. Alright, he uses his blocks there. It looks like I'm gonna get him with eight damage. Four poison. So I, th I think we're doing we're doing okay here. I don't think he can swing back for thirteen. All right. He's got seven on board here. I probably will block if given the option, just to to lower the amount of any shenanigans he might have to kill me. What's he got? Doomblade? Probably do Doomblade this a new sliver, I suppose. Okay. That's pretty cool. That works well with his uh, young wolf, because it removes the counter from the young wolf so he can die again. It's a neat little trick. And he rancors up the boar. Look at that. That thing looks sick. Looks like it hates life. All right, our opponent scooped it up. And now we're going to go on to sideboarding here. So we're playing against a black, green, stompy value type deck. What to bring in against that? Don't really need flyers, I don't think. Don't really need... Tranquility, not for just a Rancor. Mm. Journey to Nowhere could be useful, I suppose. Eh, I don't think it's worth bringing in for just the wolves, though. V Vines of Vast would be good, good against the um, Tragic Slip. Armadillo Cloak might be good, but then he can just Tragic Slip in response, or even after it's equipped it. I think I like what I have here. I don't think I need to really make any changes. Okay, y'all on the game too. See how we do. Hopefully we get a decent opening hand. Oh, that's not bad. Luckily I have the Evolving Wilds. We'll keep this. I can use the Evolving Wilds for a uh, Plains. Starts off with a Young Wolf. He's coming out strong. Alright. Well, I think I am going to use the Evolving Wilds over the Blossoming Sands. Because this thins the deck a touch. Alright. Play a Plains. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Swamp. And... What's he got now? Nest Invader, okay. He's coming out strong. Gonna get in for one. Um, I think I'm gonna start off... What should I start off with? I could do Plated Sliver, Blossoming Sands. Next turn, play Forest, have three mana. I suppose to lead the Stampede, but I don't really need to use that right now. I think I can play Forest, Gemhide Sliver. Next turn, I'll have three mana. I can go 
Sinew Sliver, Plated Sliver, or maybe even Talon Sliver. Sinew sl uh, Plated Sliver. Huh. I think... Hmm. I think I may play Gym Height Sliver next turn to turn on the mana tapping for my other things and build my army up quicker. So let's go... We can play Blossoming Sands now. Plated Sliver now. Next turn I can play... Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's, let's go Plated Sliver, Blossoming Sands, past turn. This turn's not going to be too exciting, but it's going to make next turn pretty exciting. So we can go Forest, Gem Hide Sliver, and then probably Talon Sliver, depending on what we draw here. Talon Sliver, I think, is going to do really good. I played a Carrion Feeder. Carrion Feeder works well with that one card that he draws two cards and puts a minus one, minus one thing on a creature. Opponent gets in for three. I'm not going to block. Passes a turn. Okay. Forest. Well, so I think I'm going to go Jim Hide Sliver. If I go Jim Hide Sliver, I can then play Talon Sliver or even Sinew Sliver. Yeah, let's do this. Gemite Sliver, and then let's go green, white. Now, do I want to play Talon Sliver or Sinew Sliver? Hmm. I think Talon Sliver may be better here. Then I can effectively block his creatures, I suppose. Yeah, let's go with that. And we'll pass the turn here. And next turn, I'll have... Four, five, six, seven mana to play with. I could even go double lead the Stampede if I want. Though I'll probably just use one lead the Stampede and see, see what I draw, because I might want to play some of it. Whenever a player sacrifices a creature... You may put a plus one, plus one counter on. Oh, nice. So he's got a little strategy going on. It's pretty solid. He's getting in with the 1-1, one, one, the 2-2, two, two, and the 1-1. One, one. Well. Hmm. So it's if I, if Snoo blocks something, he's going to sacrifice it for the carrion feeder, and then it's going to make this beetle bigger. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I should block though, right? Let's go let's block here. Um actually reset. One, two, three, four. I could take I could just take the four. He probably has tragic slip. Could block here. I don't really want to block the carrion feeder because he just has to sacrifice two creatures to make it bigger and I don't want to lose my sinew sliver. Um, he probably has Tragic Slip, but even if he does, then he can just trigger it with Carrion Feeder. So I'm just going to do this. I think this is probably the safest route here. Um, I'm sure he has tricks. I don't think this turn's going to end well for me in any fashion. He's doing as we expected. He sacrificed the Young Wolf to his Beetle. The young Wolf's going to come back. The beetle's going to get bigger. And the Carrion Feeder's going to get bigger. Our opponent has a really neat deck. I, I don't think I've ever seen this, like, strategy before. It's very interesting. Alright, hopefully we don't see a tragic slip here. Oh, good, we didn't. Though my life total is getting pretty low. I think I'm going to start off with a lead the stampede. See what we draw here. Hopefully some lords. Let's make this bigger. Ooh, we got two lords, actually. Ooh, we get all these. Nice. Okay. So we play forest here, and we get to play two creatures. 
And I'm thinking lords here. Actually, maybe a lord and a talon sliver. Hmm. Definitely going to play a single lord. Um, and since Echoing Decay exists, I'm going to play Predatory Sliver. Now I need to decide if I want to play Talon Sliver or Sinew Sliver. I feel like he's probably just going to sacrifice anything that I block. If I play Sinew Sliver, my creatures will be even bigger anyway. Yeah, let's just play Sinew Sliver. Build up the team. Pass the turn. I am afraid of this beetle, though. I feel like this is this can get out of hand super quick. I kind of wish I had a journey to nowhere from my sideboard for that thing. Oh, even an another sacrifice outlet. Wow. I feel like... I don't know, I feel like I'm in a good position, but at the same time, I'm terrified <laughs> of what this guy's deck can do. Wow, he's going all in, because he can just sacrifice in response here. Oh boy. Oh boy. How big can this beetle get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It can become a seven, seven. Is it worse? double blocking that beetle because even if he sacrificed everything let me, let's do this math again one two three four five six seven yeah I think the big the biggest they can get is a seven seven so if I do this he can only kill one of my lords and I feel like I I feel like the game state would be a much more in my favor. This is probably a mistake. <laughs> this is probably a big mistake, actually, but I'm going to go for it, because that beetle is pretty terrifying. And if he wants to sacrifice his entire board to just trade for one of my lords, then it is what it is. Oh, he's got a combat trick. Oh, boy. Target opponent loses one life for each attacking creature, and you gain that much life. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five. Can he kill me right now? Oh, jeez. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. That's crazy. I did not see. Okay, here we are sideboarding to go into game two, and I am I brought in two journeys for the beetles and other shenanigans, and I took out one gem hide sliver and one commune with nature. Let's run that back and see if that is successful. That beetle is pretty terrifying. We will go first, and opening hand is decent. We will keep. And we're going to start off with... Uh, doesn't really matter. We'll start with a, a forest, I suppose. Opponent went down to six. All right, forest and go. Next turn, what do I want to bring out? Blister pod. Okay. Maybe I'll bring out Talon Sliver. Hmm. I could bring out Sentinel Sliver. And then that would turn on me. Eh. Let's just bring out Talon Sliver. Maybe he's planning on rancoring that Blister Pod and then I'll be able to block it. Let's see what he's got. Swamp. And is this a carrion feeder, maybe? Nest invader. Nest invader, okay. Alrighty. Brings out his little helper. And does he attack? Surely not. Nope. Passes the turn. Alright. Sidewinder sliver's good. 
I think I'm going to go, let's see, do I want to go Sidewinder and then Lord? Yeah, I don't think I really need the Vigilance at this moment. So let's do that. Let's go Sidewinder. And then we'll play a Lord and go from there. I think the Talon Sliver and um, the Flanking Sliver is a pretty good combination. It's pretty difficult to deal with. I think I am going to go ahead and attack in here. I want to be a, a, a try to be a little more aggressive this match. Let's see if he blocks. The Blister Pot will die instantly. That will go to a 1-1 and my first strike will engage. Yeah, I don't think I'm out anything if I attack into here. He's going to take it. Alright, we we'll pass the turn. Hopefully he doesn't have any kind of kill spells because the board that I'm building with these combat mechanics is doing quite well, actually. I like the first strike. I like the flanking. The vigilance is going to be amazing. Though, next turn, I think I'm going to use lead the stampede instead of uh, sentinel sliver. Nest invader, okay. Brings out another little helper. Passes a turn. What do we get? Ooh, so new uh, Ooh. That's nice, actually. I think I'm going to play Lead the Stampede next turn, guys. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I like what I'm seeing. I'm just going to bash in here. Yeah, I'm just going to bash in. Get in there with the Vigilance, the First Strike, the Flanking. Big old three threes. Man, that Vigilance is miraculous. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Now we got to lead the Stampede. And I'm going to... Ooh, let's see what he casts here, actually. All right. Butcher Ghoul. Okay. And the follow-up. Brindle Shoot. Shout, shout, whatever. Okay. Does he attack? Most likely not. Nope. Evolving Wilds. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and play Evolving Wilds. Crack it to thin my deck and increase the chances of Lead the Stampede giving me more creatures. Because Lead the Stampede doesn't provide to me uh, lands, right? So let's crack this for Forest. Thin the deck just a touch. Now I'm going to use Lead the Stampede. Do I want to leave up a green or a white? The question is, I, I think I'm going to leave up a white. Because my odds of drawing a one white drop creature is bigger than a one green drop creature. So, here we go. Sanu, Muscle, Jimhad. Okay. That's not bad. Let's go to combat. And I'm going to bash in, guys. I am just bashing in. this. The double flanking, or the, um, the one flanking here with the Vigilance... It's amazing. Uh, most of his creatures die instantly when they block. Like these guys, they're just going to die instantly. Mm hmm. Always yield to the flanking. Yep, yep. Yep. Always yield. <laughs> so many triggers. Yes, yes, yield. Alright. There we go. Pass the turn. Next turn, we're going to be able to play two lords. It's just going to... I think it's just going to get more brutal with each passing turn. I say that and it's probably going to slap me in the face. My opponent's probably going to play some ridiculous craziness. Like, um... Crypt Rats or something ridiculous like that. There's the Beetle. 
You know what? Crypt Rats would be a really good sideboard tech against Slivers, actually. Plays another wolf. And probably doesn't attack. Yep, passes the turn. Oh my goodness, another Snoo Sliver. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I have Jim Hyde. I want to get all three of these lords down. I'm thinking about playing Jim Hyde and then maybe tapping some of my slivers to get these lords online. I think I'm going to do that, guys. <laughs> here we go. Probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea here, but let's see. Let's go Sanu Sliver. Tap a white. Um, green Muscle Sliver. And then... Perhaps I should leave it be at that. I don't want to tap down too many, right? Yeah, let's leave it at that. And then I'll just bash in here. So you got some blocking going on. Yep, yep, yep. Eventually, I'm going to have to start doing some damage to his uh, creature base here. What's he doing here? Sacrificing for the beetle? What's his sacrifice outlet? Oh, he just sacrificed the scion. Okay. I have to give it to him. He's he's uh, being durable here. But I feel like eventually he's going to have to run out of answers, right? What's he got now? Okay. Draws two. Another beetle. Blister pod. My gosh. Okay. No attacks. That's a pretty good draw. That is uh, not bad. Let's play the Sinew Sliver. Play the Poison Sliver. And I'm just going to bash in, guys, everything. I am putting the pressure on. Bunch of big massive guys here coming at him. What's he gonna do? Look at this army. That's crazy. I hope he's feeling some kind of pressure. I wonder if he has some kind of maniacal plan that he's concocting over there that I'm just unaware of. I don't know. That's the thing with rogue decks. Like, you don't know what to expect, so I have no idea what, what to expect on what, what our guy is playing here. Let's see, though. He's gonna... I think he's gonna... I think this is probably a pretty good turn where he's going to take a lot of damage, I feel. He's got a block with the boar, yep. So he's going to take six. We got a bunch of flinking happening. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. Okay. I think that was a pretty decisive turn there. I think that's about all she wrote. Yep. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Slivers is super fun. I really like Slivers, and I definitely want to play more of it. I hope you like seeing it. Uh, comment below and let me know what you think about it. Um, I haven't played Slivers in a really long time, so I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes. And if you don't mind, comment below with the timestamp and tell me where I made the mistakes. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.